everyone, welcome back to another Connecting Your Creativity. I'm Alex and this week we'll be making snowflake picture frames. Alright, let's begin. Alright, so to get started on this project you will need your wood picture frame, a bowl full of water, um, some paint brushes, uh, specifically ones that are flat like this would be great, and something to mix your paints on some white paint and a medium blue paint. All right, let's get started. <clears throat> so we're going to start by taking our white paint and pouring some into your palette. and adding some blue as well. And then we're going to take some of our white paint and some of our blue, and we are going to begin mixing our colors. So we want a very light color, we want a somewhat darker color, and we want our darkest color. So we're gonna take our lightest color and we're going to begin painting the top part of our painting. And I'm trying to get the edges of our frame as well. And then we're going to go in with our medium color. And you want to do it in light, feathery strokes so that we get a nice gradient effect. And you really want that to blend in with your lightest color at the top. And making sure to get those edges. And then we're gonna go in with our darkest color. And once again, we're going to use these light, feathery strokes to really emphasize that gradient color that we're looking for.
And once again, I'm just making sure to get the edges with the darkest color. So our frame should look something like this, where it's quite late at the top and quite a few shades darker at the bottom. And then we're going to go ahead and let this dry for 10 minutes and I will see you all back here when our frames are finished drying. Everyone, so our um, frame has finished drying and at this point I'm going to take a different brush and I'm going to take our white and I'm going to begin painting a little bit of snow on the bottom of my frame. And I'm using my finger to kind of diffuse the white paint a very small amount at the very top of our snow to kind of give it a more airy look. So we're just blending And when you think your, your blending is done, you can go ahead and take an even smaller brush and we can begin painting our snowflakes. So just using little dots We're making little snowflakes, and some can be big and some can be small. Perfect. And once this dries, we'll go ahead and take a look at our finished product. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I will see you next week for another Connecting with Creativity. Bye.